yes, uh, step in, um, have a have a seat. Oh, one moment, I have to fill out this termination uh, report. Terminate all employees who do not meet monthly, no, weekly production goals. Well, I have um, brought you here in today because I recently received a request that you submitted um, requesting for uh, to be fired. Yeah, um, actually, I believe we have a copy of it right here. Um, very surprising, considering you've been with us um, for so long. Although, um, I suppose things can happen. Um, what exactly is uh, the reason that you have submitted this uh, request? Let's see. You, uh, yes, I believe you mentioned that in your uh, report. Yes, you wanted to um, work for a different company. I see. Well, uh, under um, normal circumstances, I simply wouldn't allow it because you are a very valuable asset to this company. So just based on that criteria alone, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ask you to um, withdraw your request and uh, go back to the production floor. You know, there's more than one reason I see. Okay, I will read this for you. This company doesn't treat you well. Well, that is surprising, um, considering over the past decade plus that you have worked for this company. We have given you everything that you have needed uh, or wanted. Um, we give you two meals a day. We give you your own cot, you, even your own communal bathroom and showers. Um, we even give you one day of rest per month. I. I don't see how we couldn't treat you well. Well, every other company uh, is going to have some similar uh, standards of accommodation for their employees. Um, so if you're looking for more freedoms, more leniency, um, you're not going to find it simply by changing companies. I'm afraid not. Um, I, of course, will be logging all of this in my uh, report of this request. Denied due to unjustified for ill treatment request. Let's see. Uh, 
We have a few other reasons. My managers are cruel and evil. That is quite an accusation to level against our managers. Blessed be. Uh, cruel and evil, those are quite strong words. What evidence do you have to back up such a claim? They call you mean names and demean you. Well, you have to understand that uh, disciplinary actions do require a verbal uh, component, wouldn't you agree? Yes, they are at a higher pay grade, so um, there are no limits to the words they can use in pursuit of, uh, how shall we say, re-education. Yes, um, well... I will certainly look into it. Um, if they are using language that you find uncomfortable, then I will see about uh, perhaps changing that. Although according to the rules right here, that is not a uh, valid complaint. Yeah, well. I can keep continue with these reasons. That is my job as your manager. This is true. Okay, what else do we have here? Uh, you don't think the company can use you anymore because your output is faltering in your words. What sort of uh, percentage are we talking with the faltering? 20 to 30 percent. Well, that's certainly significant, um, but uh, within the range of improvement, um, we can definitely send you to the re-education department and they will be more than happy to uh, re-educate you on how to achieve a sufficient level of production. We would only consider uh, firing um, if output dropped to less than 80%. So. A, yeah, a 20 to 30 percent decrease is within range of us uh, having to keep you here. Yeah. Okay, um, you haven't had the highest ratings in the monthly performance check well that's related to uh, your previous reason that I have logged uh, on my file um, for the past six months you say well normally we would have to see a uh, insufficient score for at least 12 months before we could, would consider letting you go. You're an asset um, far too valuable for us to have you uh, stop working. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't understand why your monthly performance would be so low. Um, in the past two months, especially in comparison to some of your peers, um, I believe this may go hand in hand with uh, your um, the company not treating you well. Answer. Um, 
I mean, just looking at your uh, work day, uh, you know, you work a standard, typical 14 hours a day that leaves you with just enough time to walk back to the sleeping quarters, have your last meal of the day, um, take your shower, and get your required uh, six hours of sleep before uh, reporting back. I mean, this is more than generous, um, especially considering that five years ago, people would have killed for those uh, leniencies. So, you know, I'm sure we could entice you with uh, other things so that you are uh, hitting those monthly performance goals. Yes, well, that reason is also denied. Um, you say there are better, more qualified employees that could replace you. Well, <clears throat> while that may be true, um, your technical skills in programming algorithms is something that we here at Servetus Industries National find very valuable and extremely profitable in the long run. Um, and I'm sure your work on your project is going uh, as best as it can, given your skills. And the project that you're working on is contributing to a uh, much better world. Yeah. What was the project you were working on again? Dog. Let's, uh... What's dog? Oh, right, the delayed obedience generator. Yes, that's a uh, personal uh, favorite of mine. I believe your manager actually was the one to initiate that, yes. Yes, I find that a, well, on a personal level, I find that a um, delayed electrical discharge into the spinal column gives a much more effective uh, disciplinary action when the person undergoes, or excuse me, performs actions or thoughts that go against the will of either the party or the company. Yes, we did a lot of studies and we found that if the electrical discharge was admitted, administered instantly, um, they tend to know it was coming, whereas if they don't know, if it's assigned at a random delayed interval from the moment of disobedience, they don't know when the punishment will happen, which increases their uh, desire to um, not let it happen at an inopportune time, yes. Your work on the uh, delayed obedience generator has uh, been quite sufficient recently. Yeah. So as far as someone else being able to provide the same services, while that may be true in the very long run, um, we wouldn't want to waste the resources or the time to train or to hunt, uh, I mean, find someone who could do the same thing. Yeah. That reason is unfortunately also denied. Okay. If we won't fire you, you won't work. Now, that is quite a threat, and I'm going to have to make a note of that to personally submit in my report. That is certainly not good. Failure to work um, would not result in termination. It would result in immediate transfer to the re-education facility run by the party. 
up in the north, yes. Uh, we feel uh, such strict disobedience uh, j reflects a quality of character that we would be more willing to bend to our wishes than someone who is lesser of character. So while this is a credible threat, and I will have to log this, um, instead of being fired, we will unfortunately at this time have to transfer you to the re-education center I'm afraid well for now we're gonna have to um, demand that you get back on the production floor and I will submit this report of course um, you can expect to be transferred to the re-education facilities in one to two um, business days, yes. There's one more thing. Um, I'm sorry. Come again? You have a bomb strapped to your chest. Well, I don't believe you. If that is true, then open your jacket and I can observe this bomb that you say you have. Uh, I see. I was wondering what that lump might have been. Well, um, I'm going to uh, call your bluff. You wouldn't blow this place up, no. Nothing would grant you more pleasure than seeing you in hell with me. Well, um, how about this? I will submit this uh, firing report, and we will ignore um, both your refusal to work and the um, threat you have pronounced. Um, I will throw this report away for you, and uh, we'll call it a day, shall we? Uh, congratulations, you are fired from Servetus Industries National. Yes. Well, um, don't bother getting your things. Uh, I'll probably call security very shortly. So you might want to start running. That's as much as I can guarantee you. Yeah, there's the door. Oh, and uh, one more thing before you do leave. Just remember that there is a uh, seven-day time limit on finding a new company to work for. Otherwise, the party will have to um, terminate you. Yes. You didn't know? Well, most people don't because most people uh, don't ever change companies and are usually never fired. Hey, it's I didn't make the rules. Easy off on the trigger there. So, yes, you have seven days and um, I would probably start looking. Yeah. Well, um, I guess thank you for uh, coming in to see me today. Um, and uh, best of luck. Yes. See you later.